6.43 right now. Thanks for joining us. We are learning more about in-person graduation ceremonies, not only here in North Alabama, but our friends up there in Tennessee as well. Joining us right now live via Zoom is the principal, Lincoln County Schools, Billy Owens. Principal Owens, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. You bet. I'm going to be especially nice to you because you're a principal. <laughs> Thanks. Yes, sir. I understand that. <laughs> hey, look, you know how, how crazy it is for everybody to kind of keep up with dates and so on. Parents are just really, you know, trying to make sure that we got kids in the right space and everything. Talk to us about the exact kind of date for graduations up there for the, for the parents. Okay. Well, we, we, uh, we're holding on to our graduation date as long as we can. We were scheduled for this Friday night, mm -hmm. uh, the 22nd. Uh, we moved that in hopes that uh, COVID-19 would not be spiking and that we could uh, have a normal, as what we've come to know as normal, graduation with all our parents, all our friends and grandparents, relatives there in the, our football stadium with our students. So uh, uh, we moved it to June 19th in hopes that, uh, you know, that can still happen. And um, we have that as plan A, and then we also have a plan B if we have to, have to continue to uh, be extremely careful and, and maybe offer tickets to our students, so many per family. We haven't come up with a number yet, but we're just kind of waiting to see, um, you know, what happens in the next month. Okay, which gives you a little bit of extra time, obviously, to plan sure. and so on. So, so June 19th, that's your plan A right now. Appreciate yes. that. What precautions, yes, by the way, are you taking right now to, to make sure that you're properly prepared uh, for a safe ceremony? Well, you know, we, we obviously are researching and and, and watching what other uh, universities are doing and other high schools. So, you know, certainly we'll be six, six feet apart with our students on the, on the football field and their chairs. We have 277 kids uh, graduating. So uh, that's a real challenge, but we can spread them out. And uh, again, you know, we worry about the safety of our students and, and our parents and everyone that will be coming to that graduation. So, um, you know, we will be looking at uh, that same, uh, same distancing with our with our parents in our in our stadium. So uh, our stadium holds a lot of a lot of people. So we think we can spread them out, and um, we just have to see how much we're going to spread them out. Absolutely, tickets will be involved in this as well. Uh, that's Plan B. If if we are not wide open and can and can have five thousand people there in our stadium, then we will we will reduce that uh, that number by offering tickets to our students. And we, we're not sure if it'll be five, five tickets, 10, 10 tickets. We're just going to wait and see, you know. Um, obviously, we're not in charge. And, uh, you know, uh, our governor, the CDC mm -hmm. may, may have changes. So uh, we'll be ready for whatever they, they come across with. Uh, any information about prom there? Yes, we still, are, we still have a prom date, June 16th. It's okay. going to be there in Fayetteville. And... Um, you know that's that's going to be a challenge as well, but uh, we have a good plan for that, and uh, we won't we won't hold on to our dates. Our seniors have been uh, actually uh, deprived of nine weeks of school and spring sports and banquets and end of year activities that are so exciting, and they waited 13 years for. And uh, we just we just got to make something happen for for these young people. There they've been outstanding. I we couldn't agree with you more. Uh, Principal Owens, talk to us a little bit of, in the last 30 seconds that we have for you right now, the, the all-important feeding programs for students out there. Yes, yes, and that's, that's been great. Our, our, our director of that has been awesome, and uh, we've been feeding our students ever since we got out um, March the 13th, I guess. We've been feeding Monday and Thursday. Uh, we, we provide meals for the entire week, so on Monday we do uh, three meals uh, per child. Uh, you know, for three days, and then on Thursday we do four days, which is you know four meals: uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And starting in June, we're going to feed them uh, every other week, but we'll do ten meals. We'll pack ten meals uh, uh, for each student, so we'll have about thirty bags that, that students will pick up for for one meal. So that's a lot, uh, mm -hmm. but we're going to take it on, and and we'll do a great job with that. Seems like everybody has a great handle on what's going on in the schools, not only in North Alabama, but you folks out there in, in, in Lincoln County, Tennessee. Uh, principal Owens, the principal at Luke, Lincoln County uh, Schools out there, we really, really appreciate you joining us this morning. Thanks so much, and all of our best to the people up there in Lincoln County. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me on. You bet. 648 right now. In the way